Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video. This time I'm doing a tutorial on installing Kodi and then adding add-ons the easiest way I know how. Kodi for dummies. Let's go. First thing you want to do is go to the website and you're going to want to launch or type in Cody.tv and when you hit enter you're going to go to their website now the first thing you're going to want to do is click download and they're going to basically say that millions of people are enjoying this and then you pick the kind of software that you're running. You can do Android, you can do Linux, you can do Mac OS. In this case, I'm doing Windows, and now 17.3 is out. So previously I was on 17.1, and it worked fine, um, but I guess 17.3 is the uh, flavor of the day, and you want to pick the release version. So let that install, or download. Give it a second and there you go so let's save this and it looks like it's about an 80 meg file okay looks like it's downloaded and now let's show it in the folder I always right click and run as administrator. Even though I have UAC turned off, uh, it's just force of habit. I like doing it. Doesn't hurt anything. So I'm just going to select all of the defaults and there we go. A few next, a few OKs, and now it's going to extract all of the files. Okay, so now that it is installed, you can check mark the Run Kodi and click Finished. And close that. Now, as you can see, when you go to your different locations, my Kodi would run. Okay, uh, you'll see that. Normally, you wouldn't have add-ons, but since I had a previously installed Kodi, uh, I'm going to have some add-ons on mine. So, if you go up to the cog on the top, you'll see that you can go into this menu and find File Manager. And File Manager is the location in which you can uh, configure your add-ons so where it pulls the add-ons from now as you can see I've had Demetriology in there I've had regular Cody I've had um, a bunch of different ones so let's just go in here and if you add a source that will get you to this window which is called add file source now this path is how you can pull down the add-on that you want to install. So you click on none and you just select HTTP and then colon and then forward slash forward slash and then you can do and as you can see here I've already got selections in there because this is a previously installed one. So if I wanted to, I could go over here. And this is the, the one that I find is the easiest one, which is fusion.tvaddons.ag. Now you can type that in all the way, or you could just select it in there. And 
now let's click OK on that and that's going to give me a link source but I also need to give it a name so you click on the path or you highlight it and hit enter and then you just give it a name now I'm gonna call it dot and then in D go so I'm gonna call it indigo um, in this case because I've already got a dot fusion and I'm gonna click OK now if you go over to your sources and go up you'll see that the dot indigo is there now you want to go to your add-ons page on the top left hand side of the add-ons page there's an icon that looks like a box select that then go down to install from zip file this is how you navigate to get to the file that you created earlier uh, when we selected the add new source as you can see there's a bunch of files in here there's Demetriology, Fusion and Indigo in this case we're going to select indigo and then it will take you to another menu then you go to begin here and then you'll see that there is one file in there that has a dot zip at the end if you click on that you have to wait maybe a minute or two and you'll see that the installation package will complete so look at your top right hand where the time is and eventually it will say that Indigo has been installed. So it should just take a few more seconds and you'll see the little icon on the top right hand corner and that should be right about now. I decided since everything was so messy I would blow it all out and just reinstall the Indigo package again and this is what it would look like if you just had done it and just installed the indigo package without any add-ons so now we can click on the indigo add-on and go to the configuration wizard so at the top of the menu you'll see the configuration wizard selection you want to definitely click on that because that is going to guide you through and install all of your add-ons automatically for you so it doesn't take any programming it doesn't take any more scripts this program actually downloads and extracts all of the add-ons that you could possibly need including Exodus so let's click on that and let the programming begin click install okay so here it goes and I'm gonna let it do it in real time so you can see how long it takes to download and configure with this wizard okay so it's done and you just click OK again and it'll force close Cody and you'll have to relaunch it from Windows in order for it to take all of the changes so Cody has been relaunched it's just letting you know that you need to upgrade from 17.2 to 17.3 because there were some security flaws in the earlier versions so I recommend that you do that as soon as you can as you can see there it tells you that it's uh, forward slash urgent so definitely want to do that if you don't want to get hacked now you can dismiss that message and you can go down to your add-ons now you can see that all the add-ons are installed we have a Luke Exodus sports devil so I'm gonna launch Exodus just to give it a shot and make sure that it has all of the thumbnails and all of the information so let's click on it and as you can see it has the listings here I'm gonna to go to TV shows and then I'm gonna to go to people watching and see if everything looks like it's operating correctly 
as you can see there are a bunch of TV shows populated and I do have thumbnails so it definitely looks like Cody is running fine and Exodus is running fine. So the Indigo configuration wizard is one of the easier ones to configure Cody and get as many add-ons as you can with the least amount of work. Anyway, this is as easy as it gets. I hope you enjoyed the video. My next Cody video will be on the build infusion. See you guys later. Subscribe if you want to catch more tutorial videos and much more. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here.